are the dwarves of Elabor. We have come to reclaim our homeland. You have no right to enter that mountain. Do not think I won't kill you, dwarf. What if it's a trap? It's undoubtedly a trap. We've been chased by this horrible, gigantic, slathering bear into Bayorn's house. Bayorn is a man who uh, is sometimes a bear, or a bear who is sometimes a man. He is what we call in these movies a skin changer. He's a very, very big man in comparison. He's a giant. And as it is, we, we take refuge in his house. All right, now you all get some sleep. Bayorn's set, uh, I think we all remember, uh, because we all had to look smaller. So his set was big, which made us look small. It was huge, and it made all of us feel small. I uh, used to be able to stand on that set and look at the crew setting up the camera, and, and they looked like tiny little people. It was great. I mean, it made for a, a, a really entertaining couple of days shooting. Cheers. <laughs> well, I remember sitting in this enormous rocking chair, and it totally convinces you that you are actually looking at a tiny person in a normal-sized chair. <laughs> <laughs> I want to write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. <laughs> they build other entire worlds. When they've done it, you don't know. How they've done it, you don't know. Intricate carvings, big rugs, beautiful wooden structure, massive bits of timber. I found Bayon's house absolutely mesmerizing. It's one of my favorite parts of the book and the creation that they did inside that beautiful barn. And I think that's one of the sets that will be remembered. Oh, it was a really an amazing set. One of the most magnificent sets I've seen and worked in. Beorn is in tune with nature in terms of his house and his relationship with animals. So it's got a classic fairy tale feel to the environment. <laughs> Big drinky. <laughs> it's kind of like being a little kid again. You get to you get to sit at a table with the edge of the table under your arms. Believe me, you know, we're going to be here for two days. You don't want to be tucking into too much food. Well, some of us don't. <laughs> I've been eating this for two days. They do replenish it, but two days. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> um, we've got uh, cheese and bread and nuts. Can't really complain because our host is about eight foot, so, um, you know, just have to really eat it, really. We partied up at uh, Bag End and we trashed the place. We partied up with the elves at Rivendell and we trashed their place, but we didn't do that at Bayons, and I think that tells you something. We were very well behaved around the table at Bayons. It was a happy shooting those days <laughs> and it was always fun when, when all the dwarves were there and the hobbits. Right, come on. It is so much fun and we get paid to do it.